Let's talk about light behavior and the components of diamond performance. Depending on how it was cut, light entering a diamond will either reflect and return to the viewer's eyes or pass through the bottom of the stone as leakage or windowing. Leakage is generally a negative component since the facets are acting as windows instead of mirrors, creating undesirable dark or neutral areas. Light returning to a viewer's eye may be perceived as white brightness or as colored flashes known as fire. Dispersion within a diamond separates white light into its component colors so that light entering a diamond exits as dispersed fans of color. If all colors enter the pupil at once, the human brain recombines them and the fan is seen as white brightness. But when a fan is large enough that only a portion of it enters the pupil, the brain sees a flash of that color. So, colored flashes are dispersion seen as fire. Fire is not a constant. It depends on light environment, the constriction or dilation of your pupil, and the diamond itself. Generally speaking, diamond shapes with small tables and high crowns promote fire more than shapes with shallow crowns. That brings us to contrast. Some light from above will always be blocked by the viewer, creating dark patterns. You can see the contrast effect in diamond photos because the camera blocks light the same way a viewer does. A balance of contrast is desirable since the on and off contrast effect when diamonds move is a dramatic component of scintillation. These are the positive beauty components of light behavior. Well-cut diamonds display brightness or reflections of white light, fire or dispersed light seen as flashes of color, contrast, which is the arrangement and dynamics of bright and dark areas, and scintillation, which are all positive components seen when the diamond, viewer, or light source move.